All right, hello, folks. Welcome to Let's Play Ted Ingma. Last time, we fully expanded Loire and um, Litz. Basically, Loire was already expanded. Um, and Litz, we just had to do something stupid that we just forgot to do earlier in the game. Um, anyways, and we returned to Suncoast at the end of the last episode. So here we are outside of Suncoast. And let's progress with the game. So if you remember a few episodes back, um, how um, Wong said he was working for a guy named Baruga. Well, let's take care of Baruga, folks. And Baruga, I heard they talking about he was in Mosque. So we're going to make use of the last third and final airlift of the game, or air runway of the game, and you can only access this area by runway, by the, by the way. And here's Mosque, or Moscow. For more about Baruga, go to the Disciples' Quarters. You will come to understand Baruga's greatness. Okay. Sounds a little spooky to me. People will be freed of all pain. Even death will be powerless. Well, think about that reborn thing, the, the Buddhist thing. Well, how can people be reborn? They need to die first, right? Red armor will fill you with strength. <laughs> All right, now oh, we got all this. Oh, red armor. I don't have no 6600. What does red armor do? Dully coated with washes of blood. <laughs> all right. I think that's something kind of like the cursed armor or something like that in Final Fantasy games or something like that. Oh, I didn't know I could talk to him. No, I've got a free in at, at um, I got a free in over at uh, I bought an apartment yo in Loire last time. There's a picture of Baruga right behind this dude right here. By the way, so yeah, um, what do we got? We got to say, pal. Uh, the great Baruga will what rise once again. You will create an eternal paradise in this world. Okay. Gramps wants us to revive this guy, huh? I wonder why that is. Those in white are white disciples who directly serve Baruga. It is a great honor to be chosen as a white disciple serving Baruga. I'm going to be a white disciple when I grow up to help Dr. Baruga. Again, staring at the poster of Dr. Baruga right there. Oh boy. Very scary. Yeah, my game froze up. Oh, well, it's not the game. I had some kind of um, a notice that interrupted my um, gameplay, so I had to get rid of the notice. The great Baruga will rise one. Okay, he'll blah blah. I think we already talked to you. All right, what's in this house? The domicile, whatever that means. You see, Dr. Baruga's word? I'm a scholar, why not? Then enter the back room. A disciple will educate you. I mean, educate. All right, what do these guys have to say? The world is rife with corruption. Save us, Baruga. When Baruga awakens, the world will also arise. The sinners will always be tortured by guilt. Now let us pray to faith to affirm our faith in Baruga. The portrait on the wall depicts Baruga. Baruga waits at the castle in the lake in the south. Guess where we're heading next, folks? Have a seat and listen to Baruga's teachings. 
All right, head teacher, disciple, propagandist. Please line up and hear the great Baruga. Where do I sit? I gotta sit somewhere. Do I sit in the back of the class? Like a good boy, or... Alright. Sit... Alright. Where do I sit? Oh, I gotta go right here. Here we go. My name is... Baruga once won a Nobel Peace Prize for new biotechnology theories. That's good. He performed DNA engineering to fully cure recurring diseases. Well, that's nice. Good for him. Since then, he has dedicated himself to the study of immortality. Ooh. All humans shun silence and fear the dark. Why? Because they all fear death. A playwright once claimed this. People are born crying. To die and for a new life to be born come with unimaginable pain. When all are immortal, change will cease and peace will come. Uh, I don't know about that last part, but okay. Ruga will create that utopian world. Ruga is now locked in deep sleep in an ultra cold machine. He shall soon awaken in this world. Let us pray for that day. The gateway to immortality. All righty. Uh. <laughs> Something sounds a little fishy about that, but all right. Do we have something similar to this in Lhasa? What do you have to say? He is our savior, Baruga. Baruga is preparing to save this corrupted world. Okay. For more, all right. We already did that. Um. People will be freed of all pain. Even death will be powerless. All right, what's in these houses? I do not fear death. I have total faith in Baruga's words. Baruga declared that an age when we no longer fear death shall come. Baruga is waiting quietly in the castle he built himself. When the time comes, he shall rise again to save the believers. All right, in this last house. Nothing in this first room. Save Bruga and where that small little portrait is between him and the door. And a magic rock! And I believe that's everything we can do here. Or, <laughs> there's the exit. <laughs> um, we have to go down there to progress the plot. I think there are some areas in Siberia that have like little hidden areas. So I just want to see if uh, I can find those areas. So we're just going to do a small little exploration. We are going to have a very short episode today, folks. So don't worry, we'll make up for it next time. <laughs> we do have a little cave up here. What's up here, folks? Uh, we got two paths to choose from. Uh, let's try the second path. Second path leads to uh, nothing. Yeah, have yeah, that little ice thing, but that don't do anything. Anything under these two rocks? No. All right, another sub down here.
I just don't remember what it is, folks. It's a treasure. The block rod. What does the block rod do? Does it turn me into a blockhead? Well, no, because I'm already one of those. Oh, it's the second of um, the four major changes strength into defense. Changes defense into strength. Okay. Ah, I'm not going to pass on that one. What do we have? The three-part rod, I think, is what we're using right now. We haven't even used it in combat yet. What else do we have up here in Siberia? Anything? Anything here? No. Nothing there. Anything? Any hidden things? Not to my knowledge. Uh... I'll uh, throw, it, throw it out there. Alright, next time. Like I said, it's going to be a very, very short episode. Because the next one's going to be very, very long. We're going to head down there first. Alright. We will see you next time on Let's Play Terranigma. Terranigma.